we are going to understand how we apply the method of cylindrical shells to compute the volume of a solid of revolution. So this is a cylindrical shell. All right, so it's like a cylinder with a hole in it. So if you look at this cylindrical shell, you know, this is the outer cylinder and this inner one is taken out here and pretend that the radius of the inner cylinder is R1 and that of, that of the outer cylinder is R2, okay? So if you look at this shell, what you should notice is this, that first of all, the outer cylinder has a volume of pi times its radius square times the altitude and same for the inner cylinder, okay? And if I look at the shell, then the volume of the shell will be the difference of these two volumes. Now let's quickly do some algebra with it, okay? So if you look at that difference, factor your h out, all right? And uh, then factor these, you know, this quantity as difference of squares, which you are quite used to. Now we multiply and divide by two, and uh, once we or and we can bring h here. So what you have is that you got two pi times average radius of the average of the radius of the inner cylinder and outer outer cylinder, then h the thickness of the shell, and uh, sorry, h the altitude of the shell, and this difference will be the thickness of the shell, okay? So what you have here is that for volume of cylindrical shell, it is 2 pi times the average radius, the average of the radius of the outer and inner, times the altitude times the thickness, okay? And uh, if we use these by these three letters, then the volume comes out to be 2 pi r h d, okay? And uh, I mean, an easy way to remember that is this, that consider a very thin cylindrical shell. If you go ahead and unfold it, it looks like a rectangular box, okay? So, so you can see that this rectangular box, its volume will be the uh, length times the width times the altitude. So its altitude is the same as the altitude here h and this edge is the circumference of this circle which is uh, 2 pi r and the thickness is what? d. So this will be just an informal way of remembering this formula and uh, let's go ahead and apply that in the calculation of volume of a solid of revolution. Okay, so let's use this method of shells to find the volume of solid generated by revolving the region bounded by the graph of y equals x sine x between x equals zero to x equals pi and of course between the x-axis around so we want to revolve this region around the y-axis. Now, I mean, how else we would do that? One is if we did it horizontally, it will be a washer, which will be very complicated in terms of the equation that we have here. So let's go through the vertical elements. Okay, so the, take a tiny vertical element here of a thickness delta x, and if we revolve it around the axis of y, what are we going to get? We are going to get a cylindrical shell. What's the altitude of this cylindrical shell? That's y, okay? What's the thickness? That's delta x. And what is the average radius? That's x. So in view of the uh, calculations that we saw just a while ago, the volume of this elementary solid will be 2 pi x y delta x. Now, if we go ahead and take our Riemann sums and take the limits, then everything added 
would have would be what 0 to pi 2 pi x y dx and then just substitute the value of y here which is x sine x so it makes it x square sine x okay now this portion we can use the integration by parts and see that the value is this or if uh, we don't ask for the exact value on your test you can give a calculator approximation alright so let me know if you have any questions